Fate Corner, presented by Jennifer. Hurt. The Bad Batch was out on a simple reconnaissance mission. They had split up Tech and Echo. They had split up Tech and Echo was one group, Hunter and Omega, and finally Wrecker was manning the ship. They had ended up on one of the more overgrown forest planets where it wasn't very easy to move or see anything. It was another one of Sid's missions for them. This time she needed them to move cargo. But there was one problem. They had to steal it first. So they decided to do a simple re recon mission to get the lay of the land, the lay of the place. They noticed the whole facility was swarming with guards. They needed a plan, so Hunter decided it would be best for them to talk it over back at the Marauder. Tech, take a scan of the perimeter and take a body count. We'll rendezvous back at the ship and form a plan, Hunter said over the comlink. Hunter turned to Omega. Come on, Omega, let's head back. As they headed back to the ship, they ran into some unforeseen issues. They had been walking for a while at this point, and were almost back to the ship. Hunter realized that Omega was falling behind a little, so he decided that they should take a break. The planet was densely forested, which made for great cover, but also great cover for the enemy, too. Hunter kept this in mind. He also knew that Omega greatly admired the, plant, the planet, too. <clears throat> Omega was standing on a big rock and looking at all the trees around her. Hunter walked next to Omega and could see the awe on her, in her face. You like it here, kid? Omega took a deep breath in soaking up the beauty. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like this before. Hunter wished that Omega could see all the places in the galaxy like this but he couldn't do that until they were done with the whole mercenary business. Hunter heard something in the forest move and he knew it wasn't an animal. He looked around and saw something move behind one of the trees. Omega saw his worried face and asked, what's wrong, Hunter? Omega, get down now, Hunter said, walking slowly towards where the noise came from. <clears throat> Omega slid off the rock and walked behind Hunter. Stay behind the rock, Omega, Hunter said firmly. He heard the noise again and drew his gun in one hand, pointing it in front of him, and his knife in the other as he crept slowly. Someone hopped out from behind the tree with their hands above their head. Hunter turned and pointed his gun at them. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Hunter did not lower his gun. What do you want, he said, gritting his teeth. Look, just lower your gun and we can talk, the person said, moving closer to Hunter. What do you want? Hunter repeated, a little more angry this time. I'm not here to hurt you, unless I have to. This didn't sit right with Hunter. <clears throat> he knew something was way off about this. What do you mean? Hunter s stared at the other man. Just hand the girl over and we won't have a problem. Here. Hunter was surprised and concluded that this was another bounty hunter working for the Kaminoans to take Omega back. Not gonna happen. Hunter tightened his grip on his gun and knife. The bounty hunter launched himself towards Hunter and knocked his blaster out of his hand. The bounty hunter then drew his knife and they both started fighting. They went back and forth, trying to land a crucial blow, but nothing seemed to be landing on either of them. Omega watched as they intensely fought back and forth. Omega got on the comm link and called for backup. Tech, Echo, Wrecker, we need help, Omega said into the comm, waiting for a reply. Tech responded, send, your in send us your location. Omega sent the location to Tech. Then, out of the corner of her eye, she saw a second person come out from behind the tree with a gun pointed at Hunter. 
Behind you, Hunter, Omega yelled. Hunter pushed away the bounty hunter he was currently fighting and rolled to his blaster as the other guy shot. Hunter picked up his blaster and quickly leaned up, lined up the shot and took it. The second bounty hunter, Hunter, fell to the ground. Bounty hunter fell to the ground, but not until he had fired one last shot. Hunter didn't have any cover, and it was, and it was, and was hit in the chest plate from the shot from the blaster. He was pushed back a little from the impact of the blaster shot. He turned around, not forgetting about the bounty hunter that was still behind him. But he was too slow, and the other man punched him in the face, disorientating him, and slapping him with his blade, stabbing him with his blade, cutting through his armor and into his thigh. Hunter grunted in pain as he fell to the ground. The bounty hunter grabbed the blaster out of Hunter's hand and pointed it at him. I'll give you one last chance to hand over the kid, he said, taking off Hunter's helmet and pointing the gun at his head. Hunter looked up at the other man. The bounty hunter was bleeding from a few strikes Hunter had managed to get in. Hunter's only instinct was to protect Omega, and if it was having to die to protect her, he was willing to. Hunter lowered his head, looking down. He felt the pain surge through his body as he prepared for the final blow. He closed his eyes as he slowed his breathing. But nothing happened. Then he heard a hard thud and felt the ground shake in front of him. He opened his eyes and saw the bounty hunter had been shot and was now lying dead on the ground. Hunter looked over to where Omega was and saw her back on top of the rock with her bow drawn. She had shot the bounty hunter. Omega ran over to hunt her as fast as she could and threw her bow down and she threw her bow down and bent down next to him. She looked at the knife sticking out of his leg and saw the blood making its way down his armor. Omega Hunter dropped his knife and drew a hand to where he was shot in the chest because of the pain. Omega met Hunter's eyes, and he could see the shock on her face and how scared she was. She saw the blood from his mouth as he spoke to her. Are you... Hunter grunted in pain, coughing up blood. He fell back to the ground, looking up at the sky as his breathing got more raspy. He started seeing spots in his vision. Omega didn't know what to do at this point. She was panicking. She didn't want Hunter to, to die especially because of her. Omega looked over Hunter's body. Hunter, Omega said in shock. Tech, we need your help now, Omega yelled into the comm channel. We're almost there, Omega, Rekka replied quickly. Hurry, please. Omega felt Hunter grab her hand, and she turned to face him. I'm so sorry, Hunter. Omega had tears in her eyes. It's not your fault. Hunter coughed violently, holding his chest and spitting out a, out the blood in his mouth. Tears rolled down Omega's eyes as she saw Hunter struggle. Omega, please, don't cry. Omega pulled Hunter's hand to her face. She leaned into the soft touch of his hand, trying her best not to cry. The Marauder landed, and Wrecker and Echo came running out, ready to fire. Their direction was shifted when they saw Hunter and Omega on the ground. They ran over to them. What happened? Echo asked Omega as Wrecker picked up Hunter and taking him back to the ship. Omega looked at the dead body on the ground, then looked at Echo with tears in his eyes. I... I... Hunter... There were bounty hunters, and I... Omega was overwhelmed and didn't know what to say first. She felt the tears roll down her face as she started to shake. Echo couldn't help but feel his heart break for Omega in that moment. He picked her up and held her close as she cried into his neck. He rubbed her back. Let's get you cleaned up. 
Echo bent down to pick up Hunter's helmet. Hunter was in the ship, laid out across one of the chairs. There was blood all over the floor and on the chair from his wounds. He was breathing heavily. His chest wound was making it hard to breathe now. Wrecker, take Hunter's armor off so that I can treat him, Tex said, scrambling through the medical supplies. This might hurt a little, Wrecker said as he tried to be gentle, taking the armor off his chest. <clears throat> Tech, take it out, Hunter said, feeling lightheaded. In a moment, Hunter, I need to patch your up your chest first, Tech said, getting ready to place the backup patch on his wound. Now, Hunter coughs, making his whole body shake, causing more pain and discomfort. This is going to hurt, Tex said, looking at Hunter's pale face. Hunter nodded his head for the okay. Tex pulled the blade out as fast as he could and immediately applied pressure to it. Hunter slammed his fist against the arm of the chair in, in pain, yelling. Hunter saw everything go black. Hunter woke up to the sight of a dark ship. Everyone was sleeping. He was still in the same chair he had been before he passed out. He looked over to see that Omega had pulled a chair next to him and had fallen asleep. She had his helmet resting in her hands. Hunter couldn't help but crack a smile at the sight. He placed his hand on her head and gently rubbed her hair. She shifted a little shifted a little in the chair and slowly opened her eyes to see that Hunter was awake. She popped up in her chair and hugged around his neck. She tried to avoid causing him any pain. Hunter closed his eyes and wrapped his arm around Omega gently. I'm okay, Omega. I'm okay, Hunter said soothingly. He picked her up on the chair and positioned her so that she was not causing him any pain. <laughs>